grew up in Cleveland, Ohio. Been here in Cincinnati for 40 some years. I grew up with five siblings, but uh, it was fun. We lived right on Lake Erie and uh, I went to University of Dayton, had a communications degree. There were no women in media at that time. I moved to Cincinnati, got an office job at WEBN. I worked there a year and then they decided maybe they would try putting a woman on the radio. And we had these long discussions about women will not listen to another woman on the radio. They'll be jealous of them. I said, you obviously have not spent a lot of time with women because we like to talk to each other, don't we? So they put me on the air, they changed the name to Mary Peel. I don't know where they got it, but that's who I've been for the last 45 years on the air. It's always been fun being on the air. You get to talk to all kinds of people, even, you know, just on the phone. And uh, I've been here ever since. We were over in, in Covington. It was a Saturday night. There was concerts. We were dancing. And as uh, we walked back to our car, I tripped over my own feet, fell, broke my wrist first major break of any kind I've ever had. And in the morning I got up and went to a Christ Urgent Care, and then I went to see Dr. Sheftel and got the bad news. I kept hoping he would say, no, it's just a bad sprain. But no, it was a bad break. I had three surgeries on this thing. He did the first surgery, put all the pieces back where they were supposed to be, and then he put a plate right here. And then the bones started crawling over the top of it, and then they had to put more hardware in there, a big rod, another bigger plate, left that in for three months, and then they took it out. There was a, a lot of work involved in getting yourself back together and getting those, the muscles and the tissue to be loose enough to do all the things you needed to do, and they made sure that that happened. And I'm glad because otherwise I'd be having a whole lot of problems now and I wouldn't be doing this. Everything that I've experienced in this hospital has been very positive. I mean, they're very attentive people and they're very friendly. Yeah, I'm gonna do a, a bit more traveling. I'm trying to retire. And, uh, I've got a couple of little grandkids, so we're gonna be going on a Disney cruise in September. If I'm upright and laughing, it's a good day.